Due to the drawings not showing 3D points in the same view, I have to change my method. So it's going to involve a little different flow workflow. So let's go. First thing I want to do is go ahead and put it in the center of gravity, center of mass, excuse me, uh, for the assembly. Touch on the top level, say OK, and there it is. Next thing I want to do is I want to measure from the origin to that point. Now I'm going to clear my clipboard so I can use it. I was using it before. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a measure from the origin of the assembly of the top level. It doesn't matter where it is as long as you get a, a reference point to work from. Mine's right on the corner of my model. Yours may not be. So I measure from there to hold down my left click and pick the center of mass. I want to record the X, Y, and Z in reverse order so they'll come up in my clipboard correctly. So I'll pick on Z first, Y, and then X. So as you can see, if I look at my clipboard now, I have X, Y, and Z. So the next step is to create a brand new component. Now, I don't care if you're working in bodies or components, it doesn't matter, but use the component here. Be sure the top level assembly is active. New component. Let's just name it center of mass, C-O-M, component just to keep it straight. And I want it to be active, so I check the box. As you see, it comes up down here, it's active. Now, I'm going to go ahead just for reference. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to turn the origin on just to see it. It'll come in on top of the origin of the top level, so it's on the same as my model. So now what I want to do is move this, right, this center here of this component to the center of mass. So I go to move. I'm going to pick on components. I'm going to pick on the component from the browser to make it easy. I want to move from point to position. So I'm going to move from this point. The point I'm going to start with is a center of the new component origin. And I'm going to move it to the following values using my clipboard. X, Y, and Z. So as you can see, it's now sitting on the center of gravity. So that is my component. Okay, the next step is to do a sketch. Three sketches. I have three views I'm going to make, top, front, and right side. If you only have two views, you only need two sketches. It's up to you. But they must be in the plane you're looking at. Make sure your COM component is active and go ahead and make a sketch. I'm going to start with the XY plane and I'm going to put a point at the origin. Just put it right on top of the origin. You can select it from the browser if you like. Finish that sketch. Do you another sketch? I need this one on this plane which is for this view, same thing, point on the COG's center, origin, finish that sketch. I need one more because I have three views on this plane right there and another point. Put it right on the origin, finish your sketch. At this point, save. Now I've already made my drawing for convenience. I'll just go into it and update it. Take a couple seconds. What I'll do now is go down and browse down into the tree and find a COG component and expand it expand the sketches and turn them all on. Takes a couple seconds. And what you'll see is a little X. 
I got a lot of boxes coming up here for some reason. There they go. There's the center gravity point in the top view, front view, and the right side a little hard to see, but there it is right there. And you can dimension these just like it did before. I'll just do this one from the bottom, from there to the bottom, and from here to the front. Let's just put it over here, right there. So you can do it in any view you want. So this will take the place of my other method. I'll update my blog when I get a chance.